Hello guys, I'm Cal Jaff, and uh, first thing I'm doing is struggling to get my freaking paw on. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. So, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about something a little bit more serious and heartfelt. A little topic that I want to talk about. A topic called struggles. What are they? They're natural. They're frightening. They're hard, they're frustrating, so many things. And it's something we all go through every day. Like if you struggle like, you know, financially or you struggle about your sexuality, you, you struggle about, you know, proposing to someone like there are so many struggles out there and happens to so many people. Let me tell you something a little about my struggles, you know, Biggest thing is like it starts. I think to me it all started when my when I lost my dad back in 2013, a couple of years before I became a first year. Um, when I was born, he was at least 61 years old, and he died when he was 82. I I, I mentioned this before to one of my friends, and you know, the thing is that he was like if he felt like a child to me in some way like my child because as i was as i got older he got a lot sicker you know there are, i said this i also said this before like there are many risks to having a parent that's at least at least 60 years older than you you know i don't want to go into detail what happened when he died but um i think that that was one of the biggest things that I went through in my life. You know, I, I didn't go to work that day, you know, in his ashes. Like, I held him. We had him cremated, and I held his urn in my, in my hands and stuff. And yeah, that's just one of the – that was one struggle that I went through, like losing my father. I think the other struggle I went through was, like, almost a year afterward, and I tried to take my own life. You know, and my mom was worried about me, like, like losing my dad was kind of one of the reasons why I tried to make that mistake. I never thought that I would be able to do that. And I'm, I tried to basically overdose on pills. So then my mom called 911. They put me in the gurney and stuff and they let they took me to the hospital in in, in a place called Pottstown in Pennsylvania. So they left me there in the uh, in the office for like a, like say maybe thirty minutes. My mom, my brother came to see me, and they told um, from what I'm trying to remember. And one thing led to another, and I ended up like the doctor told me that I had to sign papers to get to a psych ward. I was like, do I really have to do that? And the nurses were like, well, you try to take your life. So yeah, you have to do it. Now sign these papers. So no point arguing, I signed the papers. And uh, there I was for about at least a week. I got better. And that was like the second biggest struggle I went through. The third struggle was when we spent like one more year in my old house back in Ruysport. Um, around winter time, we ran out of oil and we had no money to get the oil fix. Well, put oil in. We had to borrow uh, from neighbors and um, from charities helped us with it to put oil in. You know, charities that I've interviewed never even heard of or even imagined that I would be forced to use. Um, we could have frozen to death in that old house, but we managed to move to skip back around February 2015. Um, you know, it's not really bad here. I mean, sometimes I miss my old house. It was a complete mess. It was, but it was home. And it's not so bad here once you get used to it. <laughs> you know, from what I heard, it was either a farmhouse or a factory. I don't know. I was told two things of what this old building I, I live in now was. And 
there are so many struggles I can mention to you guys, but you know, what I'm trying to say is that when you guys, when people feel hopeless, like no matter what, there is always hope there, that you can totally make it through whatever struggle that you go through in life. I mean, I mean, like I felt those moments, I just felt completely hopeless. Like, but you know, I look back and I realize, wow, I made it. I made it through it. And I know in the future that I'm going to face even more struggles. I won't like them. No one does. No one likes them. But you got to try and handle this maturely. And I'm going to do whatever it is I can to handle disappointments maturely. Because that's what I'm, that's what I'm, life is trying to teach me like be a grow up and just it's pointless being sad or angry if things don't work the way you want to like uh for example like i'm saving for amplicon if i don't make it you know like i just try like try to handle it the best way i can but for now i'm going to tell myself i can do this and you guys can do this because you guys, you guys can have control of your lives like we all do. Like, there's one thing like my friend Zanmir told me one time, is that he I'm pretty sure he tells all of us is that there's no such thing as bad luck for challenges, and we can overcome these challenges. Just hope is there. It just takes a long time to happen, but hope is there. I think it's like what Jen Arso says in Star Wars Rogue One. Um, Rebellion is built on hope. Even though I'm a fan of the bad guys, I, I like it. Just remember hope, guys. Hold on to it as tight as you can. If you, if, you, if you can't hold on, like you'll just fall into a bottomless pit of despair. Like... That's something we don't want to focus on that. So now it's time to, it's 2018, son. You know, things get hard for us each, each day, each month, each year. But we can do this. We can face it. And like it happened, there are so many people who have worse problems than any of us, I'm sure. And they made it through. So I wanted to say thank you so much, guys, for, you know, watching this. And that's like, I'm going to say this one more time. Hope is there. Just hold on and believe. And you'll make, you'll make it through this. Bye-bye, guys.